Hey everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Phenomenal and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Kirkland Signature 5 ply stainless steel cookware set. Right now I have a set of Kirkland stainless steel pans that I picked up years and years ago that are hanging right up over here. Um, so it'll be a really cool treat to see exactly what's changed over that time. So without further ado, let's get into this. So just looking around at the box, it looks like you get six pans here plus four lids. You get a 10 inch skillet, a 12 inch skillet, a four and a half quart covered saute pan, and looks like a two quart saucepan, a three quart saucepan, and an eight quart stock pot. So it's a nice combination there. Similar configuration to my set from before, except the sizes are slightly different. Okay, and also looking around on the box, looks like there's a part on the side here that explains the five ply construction of the pans here and what each of the layers is designed to do. And looks like you get a little disclaimer here on the side that says that the images aren't to scale. So in case you thought your pan was gonna be one and a half inches wide, that'll take care of that for you. <laughs> also, the accessories aren't included, so don't expect to get a little bowl of rice, some garlic, some ginger, or some bok choy in the box either. Are you serious? Okay, so it looks like we're ready to open this thing up here. Let's see what kind of goodies we get in here today. Okay. Okay. Got a little Karen use guide. And if you're looking in that, let's see what we got. It looks like this is a little bit of care and use information for the pans and some cautionary things not to do or you're gonna destroy them. Things like boiling stuff dry or leaving empty pans on the burner with the heat on or taking hot pans and then throwing them under cold water. All that stuff can destroy your pans. And it's all listed in here along with some other good information as well as the type of services that this works on if you look down here in the bottom and it says all the different types of heat sources you can use for these particular pans. You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Lid number one. Looks like the lids haven't changed style at all. They're pretty much the same lids as what I had before, but they're very nice. All stainless steel construction on the lid. You can see my reflection in there. There's one. Okay. Then we got our lid for our small pan. Once again here, nice and shiny, stainless steel. When I say we had four lids, right? Okay, so here's lid number three. Did a nice job packing this thing. You can see everything's really Separate it out really nice so we're not going to get the outside scuffed up or anything like that. And so far everything looks really nice and clean. There's lid number three. Right there for you. Okay. This is the first of our pans here. Okay, this looks like the two quart saucepan here. Construction's really nice. These are five ply. They're a little on the heavy side, but stainless steel pans, I've always liked them on the heavy side, actually. 
just makes you just kind of makes you feel like you've gotten something more substantial. And they remember they are five layers of metal. As you can see, you can see through the one, the copper layer you can see through here, which is nice. Uh, good riveted construction here on the handles and on the inside. So here's our fourth lid. There you go again, once again, another lid. That's our fourth one. Okay, next up is the eight quart stock pot. Once again, they did a nice job wrapping these up. I'll tell you what, these are really beautiful. Stainless steel is always gorgeous. You have to take care of it a little bit better, but man, these pans look really, really nice. You can't really even get a real scope of how great these really are unless you're here, but we're doing the best we can here. Again, you have the uh, copper layer showing through here, and this is the eight quart stock pot. One great thing about these is if you look right in here, you can see all the measurements permanently thrown right in there on the inside of the pan. That's, that's very useful actually. Keep in mind though, this is a three quart saucepan. And if you look at this, that only goes to two quarts because it's figuring when you're measuring a saucepan or any pan really, the, the point at which it's about to overflow, that's the actual capacity. So you never actually get to use full capacity of any pan that you get. Uh, you just have to kind of scale that back. So a three quart saucepan is typically more like a two and a half quart because you're not going to want to fill it all the way up to three quarts. So that'd be closer to two quarts actually. But again, same nice heavy construction, same riveted design here, nice strong looking handles, beautiful pans. In fact, these look a lot like the all clad pans, except this entire set probably costs less than one all clad pan does. By the way, if this is your first time here, you want to learn some cool new recipes, get some kitchen tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Take that out. This out. And we got the saute pan here. Okay, we have the 10 inch saute pan and again same construction as you see that is just just freaking gorgeous same rivets same handle again if you're getting a set they should probably all have the same design anyway we've got that copper that copper line right in here right along the base and that is pretty beautiful okay Okay, next up, we got the four and a half quart covered deep saute pan. And there we go, deep saute pan. Again, nice construction. Got your copper line there. Got your measurements right over here on the side of the pan once again. Nice and heavy, good solid construction. Okay. Last but not least, we got our 12 inch skillet. Wow, it's freaking huge. That's what she said, that's what she said, that's what she said. 12 inch skillet. This thing is, this thing's big. It's actually almost the same size as the deep saute pan is. It's really nice. Again, same construction here, same gorgeous construction. I mean, for the price these things are, it's, it's almost a steal actually. 
or it really is a steel. And there we go with that. Okay, so here's the entire set of pans all laid out here for you. I've got the lids on the corresponding pans right now. Those lids will only fit those pans, however. So that is, it is a little bit of a bummer that those are the only four pans that can use those particular lids, but I guess it is what it is. Once we've had these pans for a couple of weeks and I've had a chance to run them through the ringer a little bit, we'll be posting an updated review for you to check out. Also, we'll be posting a video about care and maintenance of stainless pans and what you can do to prevent warping and things like that. Uh, we'll be doing that and getting that posted here in the next couple of weeks as well. If you'd like some more information about these pans, I have an Amazon affiliate link down in the description of this video, so you can click on that and check it out. Or you can head on down to Costco and you can check them out over there. However, right now they're both selling the exact same set at the exact same price. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about our company, you could check out a couple of more videos or you can visit us online at joesphenomenal.com. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching the video. We appreciate you and hope to see you again really soon. So once again, I'm Joe Linder and hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.